I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to talk about crosstab queries and how crosstabs are super useful for when you need to sort of pivot your data over and get a different view so that you can have lots of columns and some summary statistics sort of in the middle of your, of your table and uh, uh, crosstab query is the best way of doing it. And we're gonna use the crosstab query wizard today. And we're also gonna explore a bit on how to do these on your own. So without further ado, let's get to our crosstab queries in Access. Make sure to check the link in the description for my Patreon page, where you can find out more information about coaching. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna use here is this file we've used in uh, a few of our episodes and we've got a table here called work hours for a fictional company and uh, it's got some different employees and uh, it's working for Acme company or working for Arcade Mania systems uh, and uh, you can see it's got a billable hours on it and it's got a work code and, uh, and an employee uh, field. So very simple and uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to take this and see what we can get out of it using our crosstab query. And, uh, of course, the easiest way to do that is, uh, you know, we could, we could do it in query design, um, but we'll use the query wizard today, and uh, we'll walk through the steps. So we're going to choose the crosstab query wizard, and there's all our stuff from our other episodes. <laughs> and uh, you can you can pick the table that you want, and then... The first step is to pick what you want in, in those rows as the row headers because we're going to sort of pivot the data and it's going to summarize it. So if we, you know, we want to make sure uh, that we pick something for the rows, we can pick up to three fields and it will kind of do a hierarchy for you um, if you, you know, if you want to. Uh, and for our first example, we'll just choose the company uh, for the row header and then after that, it says, well, what do you want as the column headers? And uh, that's sort of like what you're going to see along the top here. And uh, in this case, I'll choose the employee because uh, there's only a few in this table, it looks like. And then you hit next. And then uh, you can choose um, <clears throat> from many different uh, functions. So it's given the average as the default. So what that's going to do is going to say between each company and employee what's the average number of hours that they worked and uh, but we we want to do the sum so we're going to change that to sum and then you can see you can also choose whether or not to have the the row header sums on there not set to true so we're going to have a a row header uh some some field basically on our query and so we'll save that and then you can see almost instantly uh, that this has taken that big uh, bunch of data that we had there and uh, and it's sort of given us a nice sum at the beginning of the row and then it's broken it down by each of the employees employee one two three four five and six and you can see you can instantly see not only where those employees worked but you can see how much uh, how many hours they did and uh, you can see employee one did a whole bunch of work for robust systems and uh, you know employee uh, uh, employee four five and six they worked on on a different one so if we wanted to we can we can go back and we'll run that again uh, but we'll change it a bit this time just to see what it looks like uh, when we sort of add some more row headers um, and what that looks like and so we'll do the same thing. We'll choose our row header as the company, and uh, and we'll choose the uh, but we'll also choose the employee, and that's going to sort of break it down by employee. Although um, <clears throat> although I think there isn't too too much crossover between these, uh, but uh, and then we'll choose the work code as our as our <clears throat> column header, and that's going to um, give us a different view of the data in a very short period of time. You can see how quick it is to to do that and we'll choose billable hours once again and then uh, we'll include the row sums there as well. And so uh, we'll save our query 
And that's going to give us a little bit of a different view than what we had before. So now you can see the breakdown uh, between, you can see that uh, Acme Company had, you know, employee four, five, and six uh, working on their stuff. Um, and uh, uh, 291 for consulting for employee two. And uh, you can see that that sort of breaks it down uh, in a way that's, um, that is different and gives you kind of a different view. So you can see who did coding and consulting versus discovery and research and support. Uh, if you have a categorical variable, um, then that's going to help you to break that down. And you could actually view this the other way, too. You could put the companies along the top and, and the, you know, the, the, the categorical variable down the left-hand side, and uh, that would be uh, also a good way of doing it. And as another example, we could um, switch it up a little bit even from that, and uh, we could choose our cross-tab query again uh, from the wizard and uh, grab our our table again and uh, and we can do some more exploration here and this is where cross tabs are really uh, helpful is that they help you to to be able to uh, you know pivot the data over view it in different ways um, so we could choose the company again um, and we might want to look at it by say a time uh, by time so we can do that because we have the date worked um, so we can choose our column header, but this time we'll choose date worked, and that's going to give us some different selections when we go on to the next one. So we can view it by quarter, by year, by month, um, by date, um, if you wanted. And so this is where it's very handy. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll choose quarter um, because this data I know already uh, that it only has data in one year in it. So uh, we'll choose the billable hours and we'll choose the sum again and this time uh, we'll we'll just call it number three and uh, now you can see there's a different view of the same data that shows us how much was done in each quarter for each company and so that's very handy for you know doing comparisons you can uh, compare how you did between this year and last year and all kinds of things like that uh, and uh, that's sort of how uh, cross-tab query can, sh can give you that sort of very quick um, turnaround on the analysis. Um, and so uh, we could do the same thing if we wanted to view it by, by month. Uh, we can also do that. So if I wanted to go to my work hours and I could grab uh, the same thing, we'll grab the company and we'll grab the, uh, the uh, uh, date worked again. And we'll take that and we'll, this time we'll choose the month instead of, instead of the quarter. And you can see if we do the same thing, grab our billable hours, we'll put that into a sum. And uh, suddenly we've got a monthly, a monthly summary uh, straight across the board with uh, nice, uh, you know, three character uh, month names across the top, which are nice for reporting. And uh, you could put this into a report very nice and easily. And you can see the, the hourly count that was done for each um, customer. And uh, that's a nice, nice, uh, nice easy summary. And uh, you can sort of see the power of the, the cross-tab query there. You can also do these queries by, you know, going into the design view. Um, so if you could start with the design view and you can choose everything manually as well. And you can sort of see if I look at the design view of the one we just created, you can see all of the selections down below here. So you could sort of uh, get a feel for how that works. So in this case, we can see that's our row heading is the company, just like we chose in the wizard. You can choose your column heading with a group by um, as the, uh, the field. You can see how the, the three, you know, the three alphanumeric character month was, was uh, sort of rendered there and then our sum of our billable hours, and then our row header <clears throat> with the sum, also a sum of uh, billable hours. And you can sort of see, that's how you could build it manually if you wanted to, and you could sort of add a little bit more detail or change the names and make it look different and things like that. And uh, make it you know suitable for your uh, report output perhaps or something like that. 
and uh, and that's a uh, something that you could definitely do. And as you can see, if I close this and sort of open our uh, our object window you can see each time I created one of these you can see it has a little bit of a different icon down the left hand side there and that's how you can tell it's a cross tab query and that's how you do uh, cross tab queries in access hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do cross tab queries in access if you like what you saw today please give the video a thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet and uh, click the bell when you see the bell and any questions or comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.